Hi guys, it's Rich from Teach Me Music Academy and today I'm going to be talking to you about the anatomy of a guitar. So we all know what a guitar looks like, we've all seen it thousands of times, but when we start to break it down and look at it a bit more closely, do we really know what each little bit of the guitar is, what it does, what it's for and what it's called? Probably not, but that's where I'm here to help you. So a guitar, as strange as it sounds, is a little bit like a person. Now I know what you're thinking, it's got no arms, it's got no legs, it's got no face, and you're quite right, it doesn't. But it does have a head, a neck, and a body, just like us. So we'll start up here, and we'll work our way down. This section of the guitar is called the head, or the headstock. It's at the very top of the guitar, where we attach our strings to our tuners. Six tuners for six strings. Easy peasy. From here, the strings come down, and go through the nut, which is where the strings rest before going down the neck. On the neck of the guitar, we have metal bars running all the way down the length of the neck. These are our frets, and we place our fingers between those frets on the fretboard, which is the wood underneath, in order to create a noise, like so. You'll also notice, running down the fretboard, we've got dots on the fretboard at various intervals. You'll always find these markers on the 3rd fret, the 5th fret, 7th fret, 9th fret, and a double one at the 12. The markers beyond here mark the 15th, the 17th, the 19th frets, and basically mark the same positions an octave up. We also have fret markers on the side of the guitar, which are useful for the player, because that way, even if we can't see our fretboard, we can still distinguish which frets are which when we're playing, so we have some kind of marker to show us where we're playing. Moving on to the body of the guitar, you'll notice straight away these two blocks here. Now these are our pickups. On an electric guitar, they act as microphones, helping us pick up the strings noises and amplifying them through the amp. On an acoustic guitar, you're more likely to see a large hole here where the sound will reverberate inside the guitar and create the notes that you're so used to hearing. We also have some volume controls and some tone controls and a pickup selector allowing us to switch between the neck pickup, which is the one closest to the neck, and the bridge pickup, which brings us to the bridge. The bridge is part of the guitar where the strings are threaded through initially from the back of the guitar. They rest across here on the saddle and obviously stretch up to the top of the neck. This bridge is a floating bridge. It means that you're able to, using a whammy bar, pull it forwards or backwards to bend the notes, like so. Some guitars have fixed bridges, which means they can't be bent and the notes are just remain static. But this one does. And finally, the last thing we'll find on the side of the body of the guitar is the input jack. This is where we put our lead in when we're plugging into an amp, and you'll usually find it just here on the side. And that is pretty much everything you need to know about the basic structure of what a guitar looks like and where to find everything. Obviously, there are going to be some slight variations depending on make or model of the guitar, but on the whole, if you know this is the tuners, this is the headstock, this is the fretboard on the neck, this is the body, these are your pickups, and this is your input jack. It's almost certain that you'll be able to find your way around any guitar. And that's it for this video. We'll catch you in the next one. See you next time.